we saw some very dramatic findings. Uh, the two doses combined clearly reduced the primary endpoint, which was the standard composite endpoint that we look at in ACS patients. And interestingly, the very low dose, 2.5 milligrams twice a day of rivaroxaban, not only reduced the primary endpoint, but also reduced cardiovascular mortality and total mortality. That's something that we really look for <coughs> and rarely see. And thus, I think that was an important uh, observation that's uh, going to catch the attention of uh, many, many clinicians. The dose that appeared to really be optimal on the basis of this study was the 2.5 milligram twice a day. That's the one that not only reduced the primary endpoint, reduced total mortality and cardiovascular mortality, and was associated uh, with uh, a smaller increase in the risk of bleeding compared to the 5 milligram dose. So what to me is most impressive about this study is, first of all, two doses of the experimental agent were tested. That's very helpful because it gives us dose ranging experience that we can reflect on as we review the results of a study like this. As we've been looking at the playing field for management of patients with an acute coronary syndrome, we've been hearing about the benefits of aggressive antiplatelet therapy dual antiplatelet therapy, aspirin and a P2Y12 inhibitor is what we commonly give now. And we have not seen very much success with oral anticoagulants added on top of that background therapy. This is the first trial that to me really shows the benefits of adding oral anticoagulation in a very low dose on top of the background therapy that we give today. This study was uh, designed and conducted in an era where the dual antiplatelet therapy regimen that we talk about is aspirin and clopidogrel, largely clopidogrel, as ticlopidine technically that one could give as well. Now while that was happening, uh, other powerful antiplatelet agents were developed. They include prasugrel and ticagrelor. What will be very interesting to see is whether the extreme benefit that we're observing here, the considerable benefit that we're observing in this trial with rivaroxaban on top of aspirin plus clopidogrel would be seen, and would, be, would it be seen at all? Would it be seen to the same degree uh, if the dual antiplatelet therapy that we're talking about was aspirin plus well, prasugrel or aspirin plus ticagrelor? Uh, how, we, how would we combine rivaroxaban in a very low dose with one of these more powerful antiplatelet regimens. The majority of patients with an acute coronary syndrome around the world are still receiving aspirin plus clopidogrel. Yeah. So this is a very relevant trial to the overwhelming majority of patients who are treated around the world. Um, the uptake of prasugrel and ticagrelor while increasing is not nearly as great as uh, the uptake of clopidogrel Plus, as you know, clopidogrel will be generic in, in a little while, uh, so I anticipate that there will be, for health economic reasons, continued interest in using clopidogrel uh, for that purpose.